is coming to. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot is up. I don't love you. <laughs> oh, we uh, just got back from Colorado yesterday. Blah! Yuck! Yeah. Boo! Yeah. Um, saw, uh, saw in the uh, beginning of there this... There you are saw in the beginning of this video the torn up screen door we'll talk a little bit about that <laughs> um, what else were we going to talk about it seemed like there was just a lot of things that we need to catch up on first and foremost there hasn't been a video in like two weeks well ever since we left for Colorado there have been videos they just haven't been uploaded yeah we <laughs> tried to upload a video while we were at the campground in Colorado, which is going to get a review from us. Um, the campground. I started uploading that video on Saturday, and when we packed up to leave Thursday morning, yeah. it was at 50, 40, it was at 49%. Because we didn't yeah. even make 50. Yeah, 49% uploaded. If that tells you anything about the Wi-Fi at that campground. Um, but, I mean, that was really kind of my only option other than using cell data, which you know, that actually isn't an option, so I don't know why I said, I said it was another option. But, anyway, hopefully you watched Sunday's video and gave it a, a thumbs up, a like, because that's what your job is. My job is to make them. Your job is to hit thumbs up. Um, my job is to tell corny jokes. You know, she's the one that tells the dad jokes. Not I don't dad tell the dad jokes. jokes. She tells the dad jokes. <laughs> um, but hopefully you watched it. Um, it was our the road trip out to Colorado. Um, there will be a few other videos coming over the next few weeks with our Colorado trip. Um, the audio... On some of some of the spots where we're talking sometimes isn't so great is there a parade going on there's like a, it's a Trump rally going yeah, right in like, front of like us a, we love Trump parade going by seriously it really was there were like there really was Wow there were like 15 pickup trucks with American flag you know, and you Trump flags you could have just turned the camera around and showed oh them, I should have can you see it's too late <laughs> <laughs> it's too late but there'll be uh, the the audio isn't isn't to my liking. You may not notice it, but I I notice it while I'm editing the videos. Um, hopefully, this microphone plugged into this new camera cured that audio problem. By the way, I'm, we're using a, a new camera for I, I bought it specifically for the trip so that I can get some zoomed in shots of bighorn sheep, elk, and moose. And by golly, we did it, folks. You also bought a new microphone for the trip. Well, no, a bracket to mount the microphone. Oh, that's right. And it didn't show, I, I ordered it like a month before the trip and it didn't show up until while we were in Colorado. Yeah, so we got back and we had it. So yeah. now we can use it. So, anyway, we'll be back. Oh, did I mention we're out and about this morning. I'm sure going to say what's up again. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm were getting jumpy. ready, weren't you? <laughs> we're out and about this morning because we're still in vacation mode and avoiding all things adult. I mean, I've got an antenna to put on top of the house, a motorcycle to wash. She has a ton of laundry to do from the trip, even though she did like several loads while we were out there. And just a bunch of other adulting things we're avoiding it this morning we're going down to uh, Goonerville and taking a look at a, <laughs> a, a camper so anyway we'll be back
I'm gonna say we're good with the air conditioner going and this new and the microphone mounted there. If we're not, I'm sorry. Um, mm -hmm. And before we go off on the rant, because there <laughs> there's is a, a rant, rant coming. <laughs> <laughs> We just looked at a Holiday Rambler Endeavor, was yep. that it? A diesel rig, and just first, and we looked at one of the gas rigs. And we sort of looked at the diesel, we didn't yeah. get, we just got a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we'll glimpse. get into that in a yeah. second. Just be patient, sweetheart, <laughs> just be patient. Um, from the looks of it, Rev Group quality has improved over the last few years. Just, just from poking around on the gas rig and you know, eyeballing the diesel rig, um, it really looks like Rev Group quality has improved. So quality. they still have some really stupid things like the front, like the bay door um, by the door. When you open it up, it hits the the door. That's it not hits... quality. That's design. Okay. okay. No, I said that. That's what I said. I said it's still got some stupid things. I mean, the yeah. the the, the, the yeah. build quality is still good. I'm just saying they've still got they've got some dumb yep. ideas yep. in there. And then there's one in the bedroom yep. where the would you stop shutting me up? There's yeah. one in the bedroom <laughs> where. The, um, when you open up the door, it hits the uh, knob on the drawer, and it, it's going to make a dent and scratch. And yep. yeah, so so the build I, quality was good, but there's still some. Yeah, dumb I, I ideas think I got those things on video, okay. so you, you you may have seen those. Um, we are at Floyd's Recreational Vehicles in Norman, Oklahoma. The front um, of it has a bath shop. Feel. Oh, it's got a, it. It looks awesome. It is a, a, a nice looking facility. It really is. Don't ever come here blue. to buy an RV. <laughs> don't brown. just don't do it. We're not. We will not buy an RV from yeah, Floyd's. No, uh, not gonna happen. And it was just one thing. Well, two things. But we won't go into the first yeah. one because that turns into a Democrat Republican debate, which is stupid. Yeah, it's actually sure. not. It's just but that's what that it turns us, into. Yeah. But. The second thing, the reason we will not, we will not, absolutely not buy an RV from Floyd's the RV. Salesman opened up two of the gas rigs and he said, I'm going to go help some other yep. customers look around. I'll come back. So we looked around and then. He opens up the diesel rig and we talk a little bit about it. And I, I mean, guess barely. he was. We weren't in was, there but a few seconds. Yeah, he was feeling uncomfortable. Well, I'm not supposed to allow you in here without a credit check. Yeah. Excuse me? Even with him there, without a credit check. Yeah. We yeah. can't consider buying a rig without a credit check. No, no. No. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep this PG and not say the next thing on my mind. But, yeah, that that's, that's and, and you guys know us. We have been to a lot of dealerships. Mm -hmm. We've been to a lot of RV shows. In different and this states. Is, even and this is the very first time we have been told well you can't go in here without a credit check and this is not a half a million dollar rv folks mm -hmm. even if it was it doesn't matter they, no. if, if they're standing no. there with no. you i understand yeah. being concerned leaving you alone yeah but you, you look at me and tell me i can't go in there without a credit check yeah. no, you don't want my money no period we're going to move on to more happier things are we Good. i think so let's go get happy <laughs> Wait, we're going back to Colorado? Heck yeah. Let's <laughs> pull the lens cap off. Oh yeah, it's it dark. <laughs> <laughs> Are we calmer now? <laughs> we found our happy place. And, you know, we've been talking amongst ourselves. All two of us. And, and you that know, guy in the back seat. Did you know he's back there? Oh, wow. A visitor. <laughs> um, wow, I totally missed my turn. <laughs> I've been trying to get on the interstate for 15 minutes now. All um, the exits were blocked <laughs> off or on ramps. But, you know, a few weeks ago, we mentioned in one of the What's Up videos, I think, I'm pretty sure it was in one of the What's Up videos, we're not buying an RV in the time frame that we originally wanted to. And the reason being that RV sales are like, through the roof right now so your chances of getting a good deal are are pretty slim and we recognize that just based on what's going on in the industry right now after this experience in Floyd's and it wasn't just that the salesman was a jerk um, <clears throat> it was crowded in there there were a lot of customers in there. The salesman dealing with us 
was dealing with another customer. Yeah, they didn't have enough salesmen for everybody to go around. You know how usually there's people standing out there watching for people to come up yeah. to help and then they won't leave you alone? That was not the case. Yeah. Um, they don't have to be nice. They're, they're, they are selling... Well, in order to sell things right now, they don't have to exactly. be nice. Exactly. See, in order for them to sell things this week... I mean, th this guy, this one particular salesman sold two motorhomes in the last week. So, if you don't buy, they don't care. The next guy in line will buy. Um, we had just experienced that firsthand. It was, we kind of suspected it, which is why we delay, we're delaying our purchase. Um, but yeah, firsthand, so, so folks, don't go buy an RV yet. Just don't do it. Don't. It's. And and dealers and salesmen remember that if you don't treat people good right now, when sales fall off, they're going to remember that. Yeah. Because we're not going back to Floyd's. No, if no, there's no, no, no camper no. sales in 2021 and we want a camper in 2021, we're not going back to Floyd's. Absolutely so it not. Kind of makes sense for you to remember, you know, that and treat people good right now yeah. and not tell people you need a freaking okay we're going back away from happy yeah yeah get back to happy but we are going to look when we get back to the house we are going to look at holiday rambler diesels rigs online and see what kind of floor plans they got because they have them in texas they've got them down in texas so <laughs> are we live we're live so the tore up dog screen now you guys know us, we've been camping with dogs for years. I, well, I mean the whole time we've been camping. We've we been actually camping with got dogs. our first camper kind of for the dogs. Yeah. So we could bring them and not have to make yeah. them sit with a pet sitter or something. Um, the oh, newest yeah. dog, little one, fits. Well, hang on. We always used crates too on, in the past. Yeah, Even we, the we camper have, we looked at, we were looking at where it was a good place yeah, to put a crate. We, we have used crates and we have not used crates. It, it just depends, depends on, on the, the dog. dog. Yeah. Um, and Fitz, our newest addition, since we've gotten him... He's young. He's Yeah, he, he's a pup. And he's got a little bit of separation anxiety where he will just sit there and whine and howl. It's a quiet howl, but... Yeah, we have polled the neighbors, by the way. And, you know, when we get back, did was our dog bought? No, we never, you have a dog? Mm -hmm. So it's not loud enough to bother anybody, but we... We're just ultra sensitive on that. We, we are. We sure. are very sensitive about that. On top of, we don't want the dog to be distressed for six hours while we're climbing a mountain. Mm -hmm. um, so we figured part of the problem was that the older dog, Ari, she likes to crawl around next to the passenger seat and she will lay in that spot until we get back. We have a camera in the RV. We've actually witnessed this. She'll lay in that spot till we get back. It's so, her safe spot. Yeah. So the other dog doesn't have anybody to play with. So we, in our ultimate wisdom, because we, we, we are all We're the humans. We, we decided to fence off the, the cockpit area of the RV. So um, Ari would be forced to not be able yeah, to go in her safe spot. Right. Um, we had two issues with that one. Um, the first one being she found a new safe spot, which was underneath the dinette next to my computer where she could gnaw through a mouse cord. And she's not normally a chewer. She no, was just, it was anxiety. Nervous, yeah, yeah. Nervous energy. Um, and that's when they, they clawed up the, the screen door. Now... She's our good dog. She's our. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's a yeah, good she, girl. She's, she is a veteran of the camper. Yeah. You know, she, Always been perfect. So, you know, first instinct for most dog owners is just to throw in the towel. You know, not taking the dogs camping with us anymore. Some people even decide that they need to go dump the dogs because they can't handle that. Especially in Oklahoma. Yeah, especially here in Oklahoma. But. I mean, the thing is, we're the responsible parties in this equation, so... Well, semi-responsible, I mean, we, yeah, we did yeah. leave it, the okay, dogs. Okay, responsible right. is a debatable term. Oh, by the way, I should point out, it did work for Fitz. Fitz did really well when he, 
when Ari was loose in the... Yeah, he didn't whine. He <laughs> yeah. didn't howl. He, he was... <laughs> so we but, solved that problem. Yeah. And now I have a screen to fix, which is why we're going to Lowe's. Um, and really, the screen, fixing the screen is not... I'm not... A, I'm, I'm, I'm really not that good with replacing screens, but I'm trying to get better. I need to practice. What the heck? Um, and honestly, we expected that screen to when we had the standard oh, poodle yeah, long because time ago. he had his big claws. So we expected um, him, even if we were just out front, for him to claw once. And Now, none of this is to say that we didn't um, have our moment when we saw that torn up screen door. Okay, <laughs> Both of us were, weren't chipper about it by any stretch. Um, we blamed and, ourselves, but we weren't and, happy. And, and then when I tried to navigate to a website and my mouse didn't move on my computer, I'm pretty sure I said a couple of choice words. Um, like, that's a bad doggy. Yeah. Well, what a bad doggy. Um, I think it was more like started with a bad letter and ended <laughs> with a bad letter. But as cooler heads prevailed, you know, we after we calmed down, and we started looking at the situation. We approached it from a different direction. Like, how can we fix this? Yeah, how can we fix it? I mean, the, the, the dogs just want to be with us, you know? And, and I mean, who wouldn't, right? I mean, exactly. <laughs> I want to be with us. That's right. And I'm with us all the time. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think I'd be tired of us, but I'm not. Oh. I like us. Yeah. <laughs> us are nice people. <laughs> But, so we, we fenced them off in, in the bedroom and took away things that would allow them to jump up on the bed for obvious reasons, um, or maybe not so obvious reasons. Okay, we didn't want the bed to be used as a piddle pad, all right, people? <laughs> There's no carpet in the bedroom, which campers shouldn't have carpet anyway. We've said that before. It has yeah, nothing to do with dogs, even. They just shouldn't have but, carpet. So... We, we put a fence in front of the bedroom door, left the door open because dogs need that. If they don't see what's on the other side, they tend to want to get to the other, side. To the other side by tearing through screen doors and you know <laughs> working on the next door. So we left the door open and put that toddler fence that we use outside. We took a section of it and put it in there. And it worked out great for the last five days of the trip five or six days maybe longer um no no issues at all from those two dogs and they're happy when we get back they're relaxed both of them yeah they kind of look up and like oh hey guys how'd it go you know it, it was we, I, I think we've got it right finally yeah and the crate yeah i know you're going why aren't you using why aren't you putting them in a crate i mean we mentioned we've used crates Lots of times I'm very pro crate. I think, I mean, dogs think of their crate as their den. They're happy in their crate. They're relaxed in their crate usually. And it sets them up to not fail if, if they can't get into things. The reason we don't use a crate is because Fitz has extreme anxiety in a crate. The separation anxiety is just really bad. Yeah. He's, he's, he's extremely anxious and he's fighting to get out of it. And Yeah, he, he doesn't appreciate the crate. Yeah. But and he and does he's loud. He, he will bark in the crate. Yeah. But he does appreciate the bedroom, which we turned into a crate, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. I mean, in reality. Yep. So it worked out good. So I, I guess the message I'm trying to send here, we're trying to send here, is don't give up on the dogs. I mean, they're just doing what dogs do. Huh? And what, what, can, what can you do as a responsible party in the equation? What can you do? to offset what the dog wants to do. And be and respect your neighbors at the same time, your yes. camping neighbors. Yes. That that has always been our top priority is to make sure our dogs don't interfere with our neighbors' vacation. So that's it that's enough on that topic. We done we done dogged that one. <laughs> we dogged it. Oh. I thought I was the one that makes the bad jokes. That wasn't a bad joke. It looks good. Okay. What's up? Oh, we already did that, didn't we? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so You're sorry. not sorry. <laughs> Don't lie. He's not sorry. He's sorry, but he's not sorry. 
he's not apologizing. <laughs> and he's like 10 um, years old. Well, you'd leave me if I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. Just to expand a little bit on the whole Floyd's RV experience, it wasn't just the credit card or the credit check thing. There were some other clues that we were dealing with a uh, unscrupulous salesman um, telling me that the Rev Group is the only RV manufacturer that does a raised rail chassis. Wait, did you say unscrupulous and salesman together like they're... I know. It's, okay, it's, okay, go on, as, as you were. I just wanted to word, bring that up. <laughs> to all you salesmen out there, we're just kidding. We're playing. <laughs> but, yeah, trying to tell me that the Rev Group, Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler, all those, are the only RV manufacturers that do the raised rail chassis with the diesel coaches. I'm not... I, yeah, yeah. I, I've I've looked at three, maybe four other manufacturers that do the raised rail chassis and are so, proud to show us and tell yeah. us about it. So yeah, and a couple other lines like that. It's like he obviously thought he was trying to sell an RV to somebody who had never even looked at a motorhome before, obviously. So, you know, that, that's just add all that in with the credit check to it's, look at an RV. Um, yeah. So, anyway. It's frustrating. It, yeah. We did, when we got back to the house, we looked at Holiday Rambler. Because they have them in Texas again. Yeah. <laughs> But no, they don't have any diesel coaches that fit our size requirements. Little disappointing. But then again, this leads into the next part of this whole thing. You know, you, we, we've been we've been dragging you guys along behind us on this RV shopping journey, which has become longer than intended. Yeah. But when we got home and we were looking at Fleetwood products again which we had ruled out a few months ago and we reminded each other <clears throat> the reasons why we ruled out Fleetwood and it just wasn't build quality wasn't the only thing it was a big piece of it but you know even if Fleetwood's build quality has improved over the last few years they're still not up to par with Tiffin and Newmore. Yeah, they're better than some. I mean, we're not saying they're yeah. terrible. It's no. just that we're wanting to go move up and not move lateral. Yeah. So, it was an interesting exercise today. We, today, you know, August 29th. He remembers that because tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah, she turns 21, so I gotta go buy her a beer. Um, <laughs> I get to buy my own beer tomorrow. Oh, yeah, so I don't have to go buy it. She turns 21, so I don't have to go buy her a beer. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, today, you know, all things considered, the I mean, we, we've, we looked at the 2021 floor plans for Newmar and Tiffin. The world is just full of dumb drivers today and yesterday. I'm, don't, don't, I don't want to leave out the people from yesterday. But Somebody pulled out of a gas station <laughs> in front of us just now. <laughs> um, you know, all things considered, looking at all the new, newer floor plans, um, nothing has really changed. The Tiffin open road. Um, 34 PA is still at the top of our list right now. Um, you know, Followed and, by the AA, but probably not. Yeah, probably not. The storage in the AA, that, that diesel coach is just atrocious. If, so. if it would, if they just had the storage, I yep. mean, really, that's tough. But there you go. That's what's up. For today, 
I'm pretty sure we'll have a what's up next week. Got a video coming out, hopefully this weekend, if, you know, the world doesn't fall apart around me. Um, it's already falling apart. Yeah, dang, come it, it is 2020 still. It's isn't? still 2020. All right, guys. In 2021, by the way, we all need to make a pact to not ever mention 2020 anymore. Yeah. As long as 2021 is, is good, <laughs> which it will be. <laughs> Got to be, right? <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah. No, not yet. Okay, guys. We'll catch you all down the trail. Bye-bye.